Come on, tell me all about. So, what did they want from you? If you've been there like you said you'd be, I'm. Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's going to have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Hmm. Yeah. It's a good update. A lot of new shit.
You Hubert? No, not me. I'm on Hubert. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when he'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. No, I'm just commentary. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, <laughs> you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently he had an urgent appointment with another customer. Yeah, sure. He's chasing someone right now. Hack on. He's running away. Nah, sounds like Hubie. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. playing with each other? Are you guys playing with each other? What? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. 
client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Thank you. For the information, sir. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. <laughs> Meatpacking Chad. Square. It's a fucked up place. Throw some barracks there. The army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlooked them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. There's a GRE in here. Ouch. Man, I love the parkour in this game. I'm pretty fucking high. <laughs> this is awesome.
jumping spots. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yoink. Between night time. Yeah. Fucking sirens are going off. It's crazy. The game should save.
I think you ought to run it. It's good. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's he what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie what's its real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. I'm turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! <laughs> Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. I just skimmed the fuck out of her. Yoink. Hey, Hakon. Yep. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Oh, I got all these up. I forgot. Jesus.
Stephen Curry. Hello. If you want to stay here, back for your package. you have to chill out. How can I do that? Everyone is watching me. Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? 
Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Mm, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Oh, yeah. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush hush. Word of this cat. Sounds serious. Oops. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, they found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. I wish bizarre folks would talk to us. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. Oh, he God. knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Boy, looks like we got serious questions to do.
Bodies around. I should. Yeah, no, I'm just curb something. In That's brutal. Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. Hmm. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Hmm. So is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, 
and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? A sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Mm. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. How dare they close the passage to the center? We are free people. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. <laughs> You almost killed me. Why would you do that? My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Great. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? I doubt Does it you. make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. Don't keep them waiting. Of course not. There's no time for delay. Oh, 
Are you guys playing together? Aider. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Are you interested or not? Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <laughs> Call him in, boys. <laughs> 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 Get that Hmm. <laughs> 
Instant loop. You don't... Good to watch it though. Yeah. You you don't want to rush through the game. Just sit back and just see everything. me up what no no no! i, I swear I, I would never I, I was just doing my job scouting it's my job maybe carl knows something no wait don't look they just told me to send them anyone who seemed new they didn't tell me why i don't have any other choice but to do as they say they have anything to do with lucas's death what? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't! How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop! I'm sorry! I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother? I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. Hmm. I just figured if I did good, didn't kill you, bitch. they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? Fine. <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. I've been there already and searched the place. No sign of Cliff. Serious? Ah, oh, shit. You don't think they... He's not On your phone. dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? That's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. And where did you last see him? We were in East Corian, close to Devil's Bridge. When they attacked us, they took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge for clues. Aiden, you serious? You do that for me? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. On the web, 
You do twitch.tv slash whatever the names you send in the chat. You get what I'm saying? The twitch.tv slash. What is it? They use the name. To the center. We are free people. The window. Turn them on if you get looking for an electrician about the carpenter. That's a shame. I've experienced some bugs with the game. Open that door next to where you got your thing at.
I'm scary. Night, no, nighttime's scary, bro. Daytime's okay. Nighttime's scary. Resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop. Damien sent me. H how did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not... You're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he... Uh... Hey, bro. You were a huge help sending all those kids. You've made Dr. Walsh mighty happy. What? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I, I don't understand. Yeah. They took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did... what? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in. To their death. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Who's greater good? The bosses, of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. <laughs> That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. <laughs> Three of you guys won't be able to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I want to get out of here. Still there? Come in, Damien. God, can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? Nah, dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. Do. Oops. Seven steps straight ahead, then 16 more. Four steps, turn left. Dodge the three infected there. Looking for a job. 26. Our cook needs an assistant. other way to save us hey you civilians don't get to get no meat rest
You know, they used to call the time of day the golden hour. <laughs> Don't see what's golden about it. How do I do this? Let me in! How should I know? You hear me, Damien? Open this door before I bust it down. Hey, give me a break, man. It's not a big deal. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. And what's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Great. Damien, stop or I jump. Wait, okay. I've stopped. Don't do it, Damien. Relax, Damien, please. Damien. I need you. Let's both relax. What do you want? <sighs> to talk. About what? Oh, shit. How about Cliff? About your brother? What about him? For one, I. I should apologize. For what? What happened to him, Hayden? Well, I... Uh, look, it's only fair that you know. Know what? That it's my fault. I killed him, not you. Oh, so you want me to jump? Is that it? <laughs> Rub salt to my wounds? Of course you killed him! Do you think that changes anything? For anyone? It could. Maybe take some of the burden off of you. Nice try, but no, Aiden. No! I brought all of this down on myself. 
On me? On those poor victims? On my brother? And even you? And maybe I should just live with that? But I don't want to. At least not for very long. Don't do Only that. for about, say, 15 floors? I can handle that. Goodbye, Aiden. No! Aiden, this is Sophie. Let's talk now. I shouldn't have said that to him. Uh, the, the choice I picked just made someone fell to the death. That's crazy. What star I like? Threw myself to death. Apparently, you can't go through the Sad. Have you seen a ginger with a mohawk? Bastard stole my last bottle of water. Sophie. You wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. A certain transaction, hmm. Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first, and we'll see where we go from there. Uh, sure, she. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Great. <laughs> Workshop, Dad. Yeah. Mm. It's a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Here, I sell the real deal. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their. 
F fuckwits? Who? That fellow! Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, uh, a hundred and twenty... Uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Right, thanks. Oh, shit. No one has better... Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go at once. Oh yeah. You have to find him before dawn. Anything for you, so I'll do my best. Listen to what they say, Pilgrim. Impulsive, but he truly cares about the bazaar. What the fuck? Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking.
Sophie, Taden. I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. Fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't do even... Kids, don't be out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Great. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected. When they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! <sighs> Blood. 
mud. Must be birdies. Trout should lead me to him. I'm not... Who are you? The Maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... Uh, over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Oh, Here. Good. We gotta hurry. Of course. Of course. Uh, I just gotta... Hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... <sighs> Didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Thirsty. God damn it. I hear Barney got himself into trouble again. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim. And they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Bertie was like a brother to me. 
For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. Don't listen to what they say. Bro. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. She Relax, did. Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. <laughs> you two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? Mm. You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? I want to know everything. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What are you gonna do? What I have to do, I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I wanna ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits, and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready mm -hmm. for winter. Okay, that was fun.